It's like a fun time. If we're looking for more fun time, we got right here for you. We're joined now by Alexander Lancaster with Two Wolves Studio. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So you guys have your own little event going on, Topeka's um, Chalk Art Festival this Saturday. You That's know. right. That's right. I'm glad all this other stuff is happening, and a lot of it's for the kids in the community. And over the past few years, we haven't really been able to have as much as we have mm -hmm. this Saturday, the 10th. So I heard that event ends at 12. So come on down anytime at. Um, in downtown to have fun with the chalk and the chalk festival. It goes from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So come Plenty on by, of time draw to come a on couple downtown. of things, <laughs> and, and check out downtown and all the good food and all the good stuff that's happening down there. Yeah, so yeah. So what's all going on with the chalk art festival? You, you, got, you said it's going to be downtown. Where, where is it going to be in downtown? What are you planning? So we've done this for years. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it a little bit in Noto for a couple of years and then the last couple of years downtown. And really the goal is just to connect the most. Our, our goal, um, our, our record that we've reached is 4,339 feet of connected art. Mm -hmm. And that's with just people coming in and drawing something, writing some inspirational words and doing such like that. <laughs> And, um, you know, then at the end of the day, we, we measure it. So the goal is really to bring our community together mm -hmm. for uh, uh, so something that uh, we can do all together. You know, it's, it's a common goal to reach this record and create art and do this inspirational stuff. Mm -hmm. And the same day, the um, touch truck is going on mm -hmm. at the Evergy Plaza. So basically from Evergy all the way down to 9th Street okay. on both sides of the street, in front of each building, there'll be a box of chalk with some knee pads so that you can get down and, and do some drawing and, and <laughs> that's have nice fun right with there. it. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's a good I'm thing. I'm getting older. My knees aren't what they used to be. Oh goodness, yeah. I won't even talk about my age. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And we showed some pictures earlier of um, some of the chalk art that's been done in the past. And some of it is uh, you know spectacular work. Yeah. Some of it's like more what I would do, a little stick figures drawing around, uh -huh. but they're super adorable. And uh, you know, I guess. This is a hot, what year has this been for you? You said like you've done. It for I a few think years it's now? seven. I'm trying not to keep track no. until we hit like <laughs> ten or something. That's, that's all right. But has, have you seen it grow every year? Has it just been more spectacular? I, artwork? I have over the last like in 2020. Obviously, we wasn't able to do it, and um, so last year was the first time we got to do it downtown. Um, so yes, I've seen it grow. Uh, we, we used to do it in Noto called the Two Block Chalk Walk. Um, whenever I moved downtown, they continued to do it in Noto as the chalk walk mm -hmm. and they do theirs in May and so I've seen a lot of people get involved I've seen even a Holton have a little chalk walk thing and I think it's I think it's just you know very simple easy yeah. way to bring the community together through the arts who know? doesn't love you know just drawing who doesn't love coloring a chalk card I, w I always enjoy it with my nephews yeah I, and I'll tell you what you know uh, there's a lot of artists that get out there there's professional artists that get out there and contribute and make some great art and you know it's it's a good time for all ages, mm -hmm. it really is. And with this professional artist, do you have any featured artists coming down for the chalk walk, for the art festival? I don't have any featured that okay. I would I can mention right now, but I do have some professional artists that are going to be down there um, doing some pieces. And, all right. Yeah, pretty. Like, do, you, do you, I, I'm assuming you're going to draw at least one square, right? Oh yeah, I love that's part of my gig. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I love to get out and talk to people, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just get down and draw with them and stuff. So yeah, you'll definitely see me all chalked up and chalk on my hands and, and knees and all over. So yeah. Do you, my nose. <laughs> do you think you know what you're going to draw, or are you just going to kind of feel feel the vibe that day and just go for it then? You know, I don't really like to plan anything mm -hmm. out. I do know some artists that like to plan stuff out and even get started maybe a day or two ahead of time, and that's always welcome to come on out. And if you need chalk, you can stop by Two Wolf Studio downtown and, and pick up some chalk. All of our chalk's going to be free for people to use. And uh, so I don't really plan anything quite, uh -huh. you know, but I do like to get down and, and help with other people. So Sometimes, you know, people will say, hey, you're an artist, can you help me? And, and yeah, that's part of the fun of it. Awesome. So people can just come on down downtown, pick up some art and start drawing? You could come downtown. You could even get started if you got kids. You could get started at Touch a Truck. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have kids, you could probably get started at Brew Bank. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> you know, um, one end or the other, and there's going to be chalk in front of each building. So all you have to do is come down. You could just come down and just do the art, and that'd be it if you all wanted right. to. And Simple then go to the next amazing event in Topeka. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Simple as that. Alexander, thank you for stopping by today. And you know, I hope to see downtown Topeka looking colorful this weekend. Oh, you know it will be. <laughs> thank you so much for having me.